welcome all in this lecture we are going to discuss about the next step of input impedance so in the previous lecture we have derived this expression of z input that is input impedance now moving on to the next step that is we will take il as a common factor from both the numerator as well as from the denominator so on taking il as a common the input impedance that is nothing but z in will be equals to this is the i l that is taken as a common so this v of l will be divided with i of l plus z naught then hyperbolic gamma l similarly on taking i l from the denominator as a common factor it will become v l over i l then hyperbolic gamma l plus z naught now this i l will get cancelled out with this i l and since v over i is nothing but impedance that is denoted by z so our input impedance z input will be equals to z l plus z naught then hyperbolic gamma l over z naught this is plus z l tan hyperbolic gamma l so this is the expression of input impedance in terms of characteristic impedance and load impedance this is equation number 12 now for the lossless line we discussed that for lossless transmission line r equals to g equals to 0 this is the condition for the lossless transmission line and we have also evaluated that for the lossless transmission line the attenuation constant that is alpha is equals to 0 also since for the propagation constant that is nothing but gamma is equals to alpha plus j beta now on substituting the value of alpha equals to 0 in this expression so the value of gamma will become j beta only because here the attenuation constant for the lossless line is equals to 0 that's why the value of gamma is equals to j beta only now we will substitute the value of gamma equals to j beta in this equation number 12 so here is the equation number 12 and we will substitute gamma equals to j beta in this equation so on substituting we get our input impedance equals to zl plus z not tan hyperbolic in place of gamma we write j beta l over z l tan hyperbolic j beta l plus z not we can rewrite this whole term as z input equals to z l plus j z not tan hyperbolic beta l over z not plus j z l tan hyperbolic beta l so this is the expression for input impedance in case of lossless transmission line so this is input impedance
for lossless transmission line thank you